pre-shot routine. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask me what I mean by the uh, Zorro technique that I use in my pre-shot routine. Uh, the Zorro technique was actually uh, coined by uh, Dr. Craig Farnsworth, who is a, uh, I believe he's a retired optom optometrist who also works with uh, Mark Sweeney from Aimpoint Golf on basically how to read greens and how to uh, know how to aim your uh, putter to the target correctly on the greens. So he uses the Zorro technique, or I don't know if he still uses it, but he originally coined it in uh, his book See It and Sink It, and he talked about using it for putting. And what it is is simply you hold the the club like this and you try to align it with a golf ball that's on the ground and you try to line that up with the, the shaft from the target to the golf ball. And then you try to find uh, something in between that target and that golf ball that runs across this shaft on the ground. Like it could be like a divot or it could be a, uh, a blade of grass or um, you know, a discoloration in the grass or anything like that. Uh, I use it with my full shots. I just hold it up like that and the ball will be on the ground. Let's say there's a pin out there, I'll hold it up like that. They call it the Zorro technique because it's like Zorro uh, holding a sword. So the big thing with this is you got to use your dominant eye. My dominant eye is my left eye. So I close my non-dominant eye, which is my right eye, and I hold it up like this the Zorro technique follow the club shaft from the target to the ball, pick a spot, keep my eye on that spot, get up there, align the club face to that spot, then align my feet to that spot. If I was doing it from this angle, it would look like this. Like that. Um, one thing I also want to talk about was is I am a big believer that uh, a couple things about the pre-shot routine you should uh, probably experiment with it but also experiment with the idea that you may need uh, different types of pre-shot routines for different types of shots. Uh, I think that the pre-shot routine for the full swing should be different from the pre-shot routine from maybe the putter or a chip shot, or a flop shot, or a bunker shot, whatever you have. Uh, and also, there's, uh, I believe the pre-shot routine should also be moving uh, differently with the full swing than you should be with the putter. Uh, <clears throat> for example, I'll go into my pre-shot routine. With the full swing, what I'll do is I'll take a couple swings like that, right by the ball. Say the ball right there. Then I'll get up, use the Zorro technique, find my spot, my target, then line up, take my couple of waggles, and then go like that. Now with chipping, it's actually different. I'll switch it around a bit. With chipping, I'll find the target first, and then try to find where I want to uh, have the ball land and then I'll start taking my practice strokes and I'll really concentrate on that target where I want the ball to land. Then I'll get up there get the shot. But with putting, it's even different from that. First of all, I start reading the green then reading the line of the putt come from behind it. My first couple of strokes, I'll be looking at the hole or where kind of the target I want to go to and try to get a feel for distance. While I'll look at that hole or that target while I'm taking the practice strokes. My first stroke, I'll be looking at the hole. My second stroke, I actually put my head down again. Like that. Then my third stroke, I go 
back to looking at the target while I'm taking a practice stroke. And then I get up there and I stroke the putt. It's a different, uh, you know, different types of uh, pre-shot routines for different types of shots. Uh, I find that works for me the best uh, to do it that way. A couple of things. With the full swing, I really would not take a lot of practice swings and definitely I probably wouldn't swing too hard. Um, the reason why is you don't want to tire yourself out. Uh, also with the full swing, a lot of things I see what uh, most amateurs do is uh, they're not moving while they're taking their pre-shot routine. I like to have uh, constant movement in my pre-shot routine with a full swing. Uh, I like to say it's like slurring the uh, pre-shot routine. What I mean by that is your typical amateur, I'll see them take a pre-shot routine like myself. Here's the practice swing. Then they'll go back down. Then they'll go behind. Make this a roll technique. Then they'll, it's very robotic. And then they'll take their swing. What I like to do, and if you watch a lot of the guys on the PGA Tour, they do the same thing, is I like to keep moving the whole way. I'll get up there, take my practice swing, then another one, then get behind it, keep on moving, keep on moving those feet or keep on moving the club, get there, take the zero technique, then get up, see how my feet are, keep on moving, and take my practice way. There you go. Uh, <clears throat> Another thing too is to understand head swivel. And the big thing about your head, and I see most amateurs do this too, is they kind of, when they're taking, when they're looking at the target, they're kind of going like that. You want your head to swivel so you can get a better uh, alignment with your uh, eyes and your club head and your feet or whatever. And the way you head swivel is see this little dot on top of my hat, you just swivel it. That shouldn't move. Just swivel your head like that. Don't go like that. And with putting, what I like to really concentrate on, I used to play darts quite a bit. I used to be a pretty good darts player. And in darts, the way you're supposed to focus uh, in darts, it's also like kind of like bowling too. Uh, in darts, you don't just shoot at the dartboard or in the area you want to go into, you actually, if you got the uh, cork dartboard, you're supposed to look at where uh, old dart indentations were on the dartboard and really focus on that and shoot it. Same thing with bowling, if you, you know, you don't look at the pins uh, and then just shoot at the pins. <clears throat> what you do in bowling is you look at boards on the lane. And you know, you'll hear the pros in bowling, they'll say, well, you know, I missed it over by three boards, or I missed it over by two boards, and uh, that's why I missed the, I didn't get a strike. So I think the same thing applies with golf, especially when you're putting. The smaller the uh, point or target you can make and focus on that, I think the better off you are. Uh, a lot of times on short putts, when I, Swivel my head and I'm looking at the cup. If it's a really short putt, maybe like a five footer, I'll start looking more at inside the cup. Uh, you know, there may be like a little discoloration or uh, you know, like a pesticide coloration inside the cup, and I'll focus on that a bit. Uh, so if you can do all those things, I think it can help you out a little bit more, uh, especially with your focus and the upcoming shot at hand and uh, also help you uh, relax a little bit. So if you've got any questions, just feel free to uh, ask them on my blog. Thanks.